you're gonna be really quiet because everybody's settling down now. So I hope you can hear me. That's why I look so close, which is probably unpleasant. But here I am, the day after my operation. Now, you see my face like this. You've seen it like that before. I triggered a hemiplegic migraine because of this. Now, here's a nurse, but we're not going to show his face or his name. Because do. we're not allowed to. Well, he, he, he doesn't mind, okay. Now, this is Sheffield Royal Hampshire Hospital. As, as far as I'm concerned, this neurological unit rocks. Okay. Some medication for you. That's my medication for me. Right. I'm going to take that gonna now. You're going to take it now? There you go. You've okay. had it before in the tube, haven't you? There we go, in, in the funky purple tube. There you go. There's some water afterwards because it's not very nice. There we go. And he's right, it's not very nice, which is why instead of the water, I've got a better solution. I've got a, mint. a little mint that I pop in for just a, a wee while. Like All right, love. Oh, God. Now that's morphine, and I need it. Oh. And. Uh, because look at this. Now, I'm really lucky because you know, I explained to you on one of the previous videos about what the, um, what the microvascular decompression was. Well, I had a microvascular decompression as planned the Teflon shield around the nerve. However, when Mr. Bhattacharya, the surgeon, neurosurgeon, was in my skull, he could see the blood vessel the l was really large and really clear. And what he realized was that it was probably going to grow and interfere again with my um, with my trigeminal nerve god my head hurts this is hard okay so I'm doing my best here but I'm so happy because it's all done it's all over and it was successful. What he did was remove the entire blood vessel. Wow. So, oh, what a lucky girl am I. Uh, no, swapped it all out. And it was a much bigger um, operation than was originally planned. And he came and saw me himself and told me. And I will never have trigeminal neuralgia ever again. <laughs> I can't believe it. Now I'm going to show you something. Remember I told you the other day couple of days ago, two or three days ago, I'm going to put this down here because I can't hand. I've got, I've got both hands holding this. Let's look, we're looking around here. You can see the hospital environment here. Okay. Now, um, you can hear people talking. Now, look, here's, oh, here's my raggy angel. Okay, sitting right next to me, so... Okay, now remember, and now I know this looks ill, okay, but that's because this terrible environment with these bright lights and uh, all the beeping and people going back and 
forth and it's noisy and etc. I've got a hemiplegic migraine. It's going to happen. But my major trigger for that hemiplegic migraine is actually gone. Which was trigeminal neuralgia. So, look at this. This is a pashmina that Sophia bought me. Okay, now the back of my head is killing me. Okay, that's where the everything was taken from. But look this. Look at this. Ah, oh, now I, I can feel the silky pashmina all over my face. Can you see that? Now remember, I couldn't let anything touch. Look, and not only that, look. Oh, It's gone. I'm really serious. Isn't that? Now not only that, it's actually useful because it, it's that. This is what I've been doing to stop that bright light. If I'm going into my eye, and I actually put it, you know, to see you took the pashmina away. But you know, these are the sorts of things you have to do when you've got a uh, hemiplegic migraine. Now, what I will have to do in the future is avoid my triggers for hemiplegic migraines. Okay? Now, I already do that. Now, do you know what? How much am I going to avoid hospitals? Hmm because they are about the worst environment that there possibly is to be in for me. Okay. But there are lots of environments that I can deal with. Now, the thing is, you know that I would normally, where are they, be... Oh, oh you, I would normally, now, on the... You know, the, the hospital tray thing that you get in front of you. What do I see? Well, there's my phone. There's all the hospital uh, kind of things that you see. And there's these. Now, you know usually, what do I wear? Okay. I pop these on. However... That, that, see, look around there, look where I'm pressing, very likely, that, and around here, look, I'm going to show you, like here, all around there, that's my, that's my side, okay, okay, now here, oh, dear God, that, it's my, my my migraine because it's come from the back, over and into the front by now, and um, you know this is minor this, ow, compared to how it was when it started. And ow, do you see what I'm getting at? I can't put these on. One. Right, what I can do is this. Okay, I can do that. With one. But I don't want to stretch it over. One, because it would, you know, overstretch my glasses. And two, it still hurt. So I'm not doing that. I could do this, but you know what? With your permission, I have looked at your GP record and and confirmed. Hits my nose there. <laughs> Ow. 
and after a while it hurts, it jolly well hurts, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, God. I'm resting this on the, on the table. I've got my hand just to steady it just slightly. Now, uh, you know, quite a lot of the day I put them on. But I, I, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Not even for the film. So, I thought an effective way of doing it would be to do this, okay? And it's not that warm in here, so you can also use... You can use your pashmina quite to warm yourself up at the same time. Now, if you do that, I look great. Because you can't see the other side is going down. But that may well come out. We just gotta hope. Okay. So we get to see whether how well all this happens. And with how yeah. Mr. Bajajaya has been. He also said something else. He said, hmm, hemiplegic migraines, because I already had triggered one by the time I saw him the next day. And I said, hemiplegic migraines. Well, you know, I know the man who deals with that, and uh, I'm going to refer you to him and um, we'll, we'll deal with that. And I was sitting there going, oh, because that means I might not just get my trigeminal neuralgia sorted out. I might get my hemiplegic migraine sorted out. That's fantastic. And that's what this video is all about. Both of those things. Now, that's the end. That's about as much as we can upload to uh, YouTube in one go. And it's just ex so exciting to show you. Look, one more time. Oh, yeah. Isn't that lovely? And not only that, I can actually press it right on. Press it. Look. Mm. I was pressing it right on. Didn't hurt a bit. And that I haven't been able to do for years. Take it in. Thanks a lot. Bye.